You guys check this out, I just pulled over and found this spot here. Looks like this is all like BML, or what you'd consider BM, BLM or whatever, BML land. Um, not Black Lives Matter, but yeah. See, so you got a bunch of campers over there. And then, I might camp here actually. This is a nice view of the mountains over there. Through my window. I figure I'd come out here. I need a sweat and detox because I'm, I'm starting a big old fast. So I come out here. I'm gonna see these little fucking cactuses here. You see, I'm wearing sandals. I I learned the hard way about these motherfuckers when I was walking around and poke, 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 poke. But I kind of watch out for them now if I'm walking my sandals. Some people dump their stuff. Yeah, this is a great spot to camp out, especially at night. It's nice and it's a lot cooler at night, and the breeze helps too. But yeah, I'm gonna walk around here for a little while and just kind of do some exploring and uh, sweating. Want to heat my drink up? Look at that! I just put it in the damn coffee cup, and what's that instant coffee? You know what I mean? I just throw it in there and just let it sit in the sun and heat it up. Guys, it is hot, hot. Hot, hot out. Like, it's like 110 at least. I mean, it's hot out here, but with that desert breeze going, it feels pretty good. Just sitting out here in the damn desert, sweating my ass off deliberately. I'm gonna be fasting tomorrow. There's a there's a damn camper way out there by itself. Where'd you go? Over to the left. There it is. There's a truck. There's somebody out there, way out there. There like aren't any birds out here. Or nothing that I can see anyway, not even in the sky. Look at that, as far as you can see. Not one bird. And there's hardly any flying insects out here. It's just mostly dead. I saw some lizards. And I know there's bobcats and shit out there, but I know it's thriving with life, you know what I'm saying? Just different types of life that I'm not used to seeing, so. Check that out. Sent behind the clouds. It started to go down slowly. So I saw this trail on the side of the road. Uh, I'm gonna wait it. Um, Needles, California, which is that direction, and then about, which is 10 minutes away that way, and then uh, Arizona's right here, so. But I just figured I'd stop by here. It looks like a big old trail or road, and I like the view over there with the mountains, so I was like, well, how am I document that? And just walk down this ways. Not a whole lot. It's gonna be like 110 today. Yesterday was 110. It's like fuck, man. Sweat my ass off today. I fast. Or I'm fasting. There's a bunch of ants here. I gotta be careful. That. Whatever it is. Oh, there. There's some more. These are workers here. Two of them on that one. Another one. They're taking a bunch of them. I'm parked right there. Sitting here at this table. It's hot as fuck. Saw this little bit of shade right there. Oh, hell yeah.
This here is the little town of Oatman. They do like a little gun show up here every now and then. Some old buildings. This is the historic Route 66. I'm gonna take this up a little ways and uh, do some walking around, exploring. They do got a bunch of cool rocks up here. You can find quartz and stuff like that, but yeah. It's a pretty famous little area right here. Looks like it. Yeah, I'm going up here ways. It's a nice drive up through here. And these shocks in this car are just shot. Hear all that? It is shot. I'm gonna have to take, <laughs> I gotta do something. Now I figure I come out here for a little bit, just walking around. Bunch of caves and stuff through here. Just gotta find them, mines. Yeah, this right here is rope. This right here is Route 66. So my, my coal has been kind of going low on me and I've been having to fill it up and I was thinking it's just because it's been water because it was just pretty much just water is what I was using and I was in the desert so. <coughs> oh shit. I thought that it was just evaporating, but I just pulled over to check the coolant level, and I'm hearing this hissing. Hear it? And it looks like the leak, at least I found where the leak is at. It's in this T right there in the back. And it's dripping down that piece. There you go. Right there. Right in there. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Either fix it myself or take it to the shop and that kind of sucks guys. <sighs> yeah. Hear a burrow down there. Somewhere. Burrow way over there. Donkey. Huh. Apparently they used to use them in the mines here and um they were left here so they've been like reproducing and populating the area and staying in this area. Some kind of memorial or grave site up here. A good view of the desert over here. Maybe these are people that died here? I don't know. There's a bunch of them down there. Yeah, I'm just sitting out here in the desert. It is so hot, and it's getting hotter. It's actually only like t a little after 10. And uh, 
we're not even at the hottest part right now it's like 108 so yesterday it got up to like 120 something I was like damn so just trying to stay cool out here and I'm also trying to absorb as much sun as I can without um, being burnt burning myself you know what I mean because it's, uh, it's heated out here I like it over here because it's so quiet and you can pretty much park like anywhere. You can car camp anywhere. But I'm a little bummed down or bummed out about my uh, coolant hose busting, but it could have been worse. And hell, my car's got me so many places so far, and I just got to fix it, get the hose, get, get it replaced. But I, I could drive, drive it, but I'm just driving it locally. So I don't cause too much uh, damage to the engine because it can overheat, I guess. Because that uh, cool coolant leak. So that's why my um, coolant levels kept dropping. I thought it was just because there was water in there, but luckily I was able to find the the, the leak where it's leaking at. Look at this guy. How you doing, little buddy? I scared him and he moved and then as I calmed him down. Hey buddy. How you doing? How you doing buddy? Hey little buddy. I'm just taking a video of you. That's a cool looking bird there. Hey buddy. What are you doing? Huh? Check this out, the bird is following me, guys. He wants, like, maybe some food or something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, little guy, come on. I'm gonna hook you up. Come on. Come on. Check that out. I'm gonna go over here and get him some walnuts. So here's my bird friend. Got him some crushed walnuts here. I don't know if he's gonna eat this or not, but I'm gonna try to give him to him. He followed me and he stayed right here in the middle. Here, buddy. Here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. It's yours. Say, where the hell are they at now? What a cool looking bird, though. Must, must not like walnuts. Going through these mountains here. It's got a lot cooler up here. It's dropping. It was 115 degrees. Now it went down to 99. So it's a lot cooler up here for some reason. I thought heat rises, but I guess that's the desert valley there for you. But, yeah, look at these mountains are wild, man. Look at that. It's so crazy. But I just got, I miss the trees. I miss actual nature, uh, you know, life, abundance of life. Out here, there's a lot of life, yes. And there's, I mean, there's a lot of it, just a different kind of life. But, I uh, mean, not for me though. It's too damn hot and um, dry and dead no trees hardly any trees look at that it's just, just straight up desert and i don't want to be fucking stranded here in the desert so i gotta do what i gotta do i'm chancing it with this car but we'll see what happens i I just left not too long ago and I'm missing the hell out of my son already. It's just like, fuck, it's so hard for me to leave him. But you know, the system makes it so hard to, for families to stay together. It's divide and conquer in a strategic way that is almost uncomprehendable for the, the average mind. To, well, it is uncomprehendable for the average mind to understand, but 
divide and conquer is one of the biggest tactics that they use. And it just sucks that how, how everyone is controlled by money, you know? The lack of money can no, I mean, distant, you're, distance you from your loved ones and shit. It sucks. And it, it just makes you have to be in, enslaved and enslaved in the system, you know? It's fucked up. Where, no matter where you go, the fucking system's there. You know what I'm saying? They build this whole fucking system, they build the roads and tell you where you can and cannot go. Just everything is so controlled. There's people on highways thinking they're free, but just part of the system, you know? Yeah, guys, I'm going back to the greenery back to Kentucky just because I'm having too many car problems. And I don't want to be stranded. I didn't want to be stranded in the desert, so I'm on my way back to uh, Kentucky. I'm over here in Texas right now, just at a picnic area. Let my car cool down there. But, yeah, it's got a cool lake, but hell, I've already drove it like almost about 800 miles. So I've just been periodically checking on it, let it cool off, and uh, filling it up if necessary. Or, yeah, when necessary. So, I'm about to get on the road. I'm just, it's 102 here in Amarillo. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm like, damn. I can tolerate 100, but 120 degrees where I was at all week, like fuck that, you know what I'm saying? I like to be out outside. I don't like to be outside all day, every day when it's 100 fucking 20 degrees. But it's good to get, it's good to soak up the sun. I love the sun and I know I'm gonna miss the heat and the sun that Arizona offers in New Mexico and Texas compared to Kentucky, you know, but it is what it is. I don't know if you guys can see that smoke, but I wish I would have caught it on camera on my way, you know, passing by. But it's a big old semi truck on fire, and uh, I couldn't find my camera in time to snap it, but I found it enough to show the smoke there. So I'm just cruising through Oklahoma. I'm gonna be uh, going around Arkansas because I got a warrant in Arkansas. Well, guys, I'm almost to um, Kentucky. Um, I'm in Missouri right now, it's about seven and a half hours away from um, Kentucky. I just seen this little park here up here. I pull over and check it out, walk around a little bit before I get get going. I passed out at a passed out at a um, truck stop last night. Got some sleep, so I just woke up probably I don't know 30 minutes ago. Oh me, it's a nice little lake. Get on the road and get back. Good birdie. Good birdie, birdie. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get on out of here. You know, when you're waking, it kind of sucks when you realize, like, everything in the fucking system is to keep people at a low level, a low vibrational level, to keep people distracted and to drain their fucking energy every way possible, to distract them from the truth and distract them from leveling up. I mean, just a job, for example, it drains your energy, so you can't use that energy elsewhere, like on leveling up and finding out the truth and um, working on your purpose or your dream or your passion, you know? It's just everything in the system. Like, it doesn't matter where you go in the United States, especially in the United States, the fucking, the system's everywhere. Like, look, the system is fucking everywhere. The roads, you know what I'm saying? Like, private land, private owned land. Everything's like privately owned almost. It's like, what the fuck? If it's not privately owned, then the government owns it. You know what I mean? It's like, you're really limited on what you can do, and where you can go, everything is controlled. And it's just like, fuck, man. Even the people, most people are sheeple. And they're like agents. Agent Smiths in the fucking Matrix that are put in place 
to keep you distracted and prevent you from leveling up, whether they know it or not. You know what I'm saying? Most of them are unaware that they are keeping you distracted and draining your energy. You know what I'm saying? But when you're on a high vibrational level, high fucking vibrational level, you know, it's draining to your energy when you're dealing with ignorant people that are not on your vibrational level. And it's annoying, guys. It's annoying. And it's everything's a trap. Everything in the fucking system is a trap to keep people, to keep humanity enslaved. Enslaved. To the day they die, they want you to be enslaved to the fucking system. And it just blows my mind. Like, the food that people are eating are, is dead food. They're not putting life in their body. You know what I'm saying? It's dead, cooked, um, or processed with all kinds of chemicals. Most of it's dead food that most people are eating. And uh, it's not good. It keeps people kind of uh, sedated in a way. You know? And I think that's why that shit is promoted so much. And you can buy a fucking hamburger almost anywhere. You know, you go in a damn gas station store or any store, it's a lot of fucking processed shit. That's what they want you to consume, you know? Um, part of the reason why I think they give fucking food stamps is to keep, you know, because they know people, most people are sheeple and programmed the way that they want them to be, so they know they're going to go buy shit to make them sick and to keep them asleep and a sheep. A lot of people, they don't fast, you know what I mean? So they can't reach that higher level of enlightenment. They don't avoid fucking fluoride and it's just so much. There's just so much that you gotta be aware of to avoid the shit that the system's trying to feed you. You know what I'm saying? And the only way you're gonna know is if you elevate. It's nice to be up here with the damn trees and green grass and everything again though, I tell you. Uh, I like I mean I it was a good experience chilling in the desert, camping out at the desert and shit, but man, 120 fucking degrees. Whew. It can get to you after a couple weeks. But, I got a good tan. And guys, uh, and I'm anonymous, I keep my, I keep myself anonymous for many different reasons. One, it doesn't matter what I look like, it's about the message. And then two, um, well, I know how these fucking elitist are, and um, and they're puppets, they're pawn bot puppets. So I'm just playing it smart, you know. I'm not afraid. It's just that I, I I'm preventing things. So yeah, check out that nature. Get close to the Ozarks, Ozark, Missouri. So, I might have stopped somewhere in the Ozarks. I'm probably going to stop somewhere in the Ozarks and just check it out. Because it looks like a really nice area, especially the Ozark Mountains. I looked it up. It looks like a very nice area. I'd like to live there one day, maybe. Uh, maybe one day. Either there or Idaho. Somewhere. i got to be where the trees are at, though. Hell yeah. But yeah, I like the Ozarks. Yeah, I like it far more in the country, you know, away from the cities, away from all the sheep bot ponds. More than, you know, in the cities and shit. This over here is the Ozarks. I like this area. Like, just look, look at the greenery here. You know, the lake. But, I just figure I'd pull over and check this area out. But, you got some nice trees. Some place I'd probably live at. Have a house somewhere in the country out in the Ozarks. Looks like it'd be pretty nice. Yeah. Big difference compared to the desert, I'll tell you that. Shit. <laughs> I like the sun and the heat out there in a way. I know I'll miss that, but every now and then. But I prefer this. But uh, nowadays, I just, I prefer living in the woods, in nature, in the green with everything. Bugs, birds, you name it. But, it's a nice little trail over there. But I'm trying to get uh, back so I can take care of some things. Uh, 
yeah pretty cool yeah I'm really liking the Ozarks green everywhere Well guys, I made it back here in Kentucky, so I'm pretty stoked to be back after being in the desert for a little while. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it's nice to be back. I like it over here by the lake. This is one of my favorite places to stay at. Free camp in here. And they got nice spots that you can just pick around the lake, anywhere around the lake to camp at. And that's my spot right there for today. Maybe tomorrow too. Go over here and get some more firewood. But I keep going off to experience different things. And in a way, I keep like reflecting on... Uh, how good I had it you know, if that makes sense like I went to the desert to experience the desert to see if I possibly wanted to live out in Arizona and I found out maybe after a week that it was not for me I did not want to live out there especially in the desert like that and you know when shit hits the fan my energy tells me that desert with these cities in the desert like Las Vegas for a good example it's gonna be the worst places to be the worst places to be and I think that there's some sinister reason behind them making big cities like in the middle of the fucking desert and shit because they're planning on something you know and uh, I'm telling you those are gonna be the worst places to be in those crowded cities especially in shit like the desert you know here's some good firewood but I got I came back out here I'm gonna make some things happen yeah and eventually, hopefully, get me a piece of land somewhere with a little tiny home on it. That'd be cool. That's what I'm working on anyway. Things have been just slowing me down left and right. Yeah, here's my camping setup for, the, for today. Maybe tomorrow. Right here by the lake. It's pretty nice. It's a lot better than being out in 120 degrees baking in the sun don't get me wrong it was nice to get and absorb a lot of that good sun energy I got a pretty good tan here I want things to go a certain way but the universe makes it go a different way and it's just directing me I don't know and I guess in my in a way I just don't know what the fuck it's... I don't know where it's directing me, but it's directing me. Another thing is I'm just so used to staying out, camping out. I prefer camping out in nature. Don't get me wrong, um, somewhere like this, not in the fucking desert, but where it's comfortable and you know it's like 70 75 degrees out here um, that's what I like I prefer camping and staying outside than I do um, inside of a building you know I get claustrophobic kind of being in a fucking building because I'm just so used to being outside because I told myself I want to be out with nature and so I've been camping out in nature as long as I can, as much as I can. Just to learn from nature. And, uh, I mean, hell, I've pretty much trained myself. I could survive out here if I had to. When shit hits the fan, I know what to do, how to survive. Um, a lot of people, they're going to be fucked because they're so used to being tied to the system. 
You're just so used to being in the fucking system. I mean, I'm like, I, I really want to. I'm like, this fucking close. It's just like, I want to just run away from society completely and just live in the woods and build my own fucking place. Tax money free, no money, no fucking taxes, and just living off the land, off grid. Um, no home address, you know what I'm saying? Just start from scratch somewhere, but you know, I got family and kind of keeps you, you have to kind of be stuck in the system to be with your family, you know, in a way. Um, Cause hell, if I did something like that, there's no telling when I'd be able to see my kids again. Um, it's just there's just so many traps, and and anyway, I got to continue being a modern day slave for a little for a little longer, just till um, I can get some things accomplished that I want accomplished, just so. To give myself some stepping stones to get the fuck off the system, out of the system. But for me to be satisfied, it's gonna take a good amount of money. When you are uh, like truly awakened, like spiritually enlightened, and you've leveled up your consciousness, it's really, well, let me say it like this it weighs a lot on your soul. And it weighs a lot on your energy when you're having to deal with low vibrational, ignorant sheeple bot pawns. Because they are only running on their programming code. And it's their only way of thinking, you know? It's the program. So, uh, their ignorance just really takes a toll on you. Or it does for me. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, guys. But for now, I'm going to camp out and uh, stack some bread and uh, see what happens. Till next video, peace and love all late.